So to help with demonstrating use of the drought supplementary feed calculator, we thought we'd uh, build a bit of a scenario to, to work through. So the scenario is we've got uh, a mob of merino ewes in a containment area and they're in the last month of pregnancy. And we're going to feed them a ration made up of barley and silage. They're going to be in the containment area for a month while we've had a break of season and so when they go from last month of pregnancy to the first month of lactation we're going to let them out in the paddock and develop a ration uh, which, will, which will supplement the pasture that's available. So the first thing that we're going to do, uh, we've made silage on farm we're going to get a feed test of that and so I'm going to enter a feed test. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is enter a feed test. So we've had some silage made on farm and so what I'm going to do down the bottom of the app screen we've got a home We've got my feeds and feed out. I'm going to select my feeds and I'm going to enter a feed test. So the silage we've got is, uh, we're just going to call it pit silage. The name that you put in is uh, pretty important if you've got a number of feeds on hand because you need to differentiate which feeds you're selecting. So it could be silo 1, 2, 3 or 4 or pit 1, 2, 3 or 4. I'm just for this sake calling it pit silage. The feed type, it's actually a silage pit so you can see I'm scrolling down the screen and I'm going to select silage pit. The reason we uh, classify it is if you've got a number of feeds in your database it'll be grouped under certain headings. How will it be fed or handled? Well because it's pit silage it's going to be fed out using a grab or a bucket on a tractor. The dry matter content is 40% dry matter the energy or the metabolizable energy is uh, 9.5 megajoules. The crude protein is 14%. The on-farm cost is $160 on-farm is its value. And the quantity on hand is I've got 500 tonne. And so now when I click save, that'll be saved into my feeds database. So we can now see that the pit silage is saved under silage in my feeds database and if I wanted to I could enter another feed test if I had a number. The information we've just put in uh, comes with your feed test and the, the three things that, are, that we're going to be entering is the energy, the protein and the dry matter.